we have a quick round of rapid fire questions for each of you. So these, each of you will answer. Um, Dr. Keller, do you want to go first sure. and Dr. Hill second? Okay. Okay. So these are just quick one to two word answers. So the first is, um, who is a musician or a band that you're currently listening to? Zach Bryant. Oh, so good. Who's like 28, and, but he's like a genius. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Zach Bryant. Dr. Hill. Oh, but Gosh, I'm caught flat-footed. Now I'm trying to think. I, I can't think of anybody right now. You should Can listen I, to Zach Bryant. I should listen. Okay, I'm going it, to listen. It's a good choice. Okay, it's a good choice. all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is the best book that you've read in the past year? I, I've, I've got one. How to, how to be seen and how to see others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, um, it was... Oh, gosh. Uh, it's a... Haruki Murakami book, and I'm trying to remember the name, uh, El Commend the Commendator. Commendator. It was a great book, and it's just amazing, and he writes so powerfully. What is a TV show that you all are currently watching and recommend? Well, so I just recently had a medical procedure, so I had to stay home for a few days. So first of all, so glad the Olympics was on. But um, there's a really cool show called uh, CB Strike, okay. which is on um, Prime, and it's like this British detective duo, super cool. Really well done. I have been hooked on the Olympics since day one. Oh, same here. And that has been taking every waking moment that I'm at home. I turn on the Olympics and to see how, how our medal count is and, and who's who's out having fun and, and living their best best lives. Is there a specific sport you've been most excited about? Well, I love the swimming. I love gymnastics and track and field. I, you know, they just can go forever, it seems. They just, yeah. Is there a sport you've been watching in particular, Dr. Kelly? Well, those are the ones. I would kind of whatever's on. I mean, it's great to watch the women's soccer team win today, which was cool. Sorry, spoiler, if you haven't seen That's it okay. yet. It just <laughs> happened. Um, and uh, actually, really cool yesterday, the pole vaulter guy. Oh, I saw that. Like, the Swedish guy who got the new yes. pole vaulting record. I was just like, which I, I'm not been a big follower of pole no. vaulting. I, you know, I kind of remember occasionally that it's a sport. But... It was awesome, like just watching him do that, and it's just it's it's so neat to see. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's almost the, an art yeah. to watch how they, you know. Yeah. Do y'all? So time. this is. I'll I'll continue with the rapid fire in a minute. Yes. Okay. Um, but did you all see the photo of Simone Biles and Jordan Childs just paying tribute to um, Rebecca Andrade? Yes. She's incredible. She's the gold medalist on floor. I don't know if I saw the photo. Oh, was that when they got down? Yes. yes I incredible. saw that. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. It just I reminded me of those so comments cool. about just lifting up other leaders around you. It's an incredible photo. I love the camaraderie of them. I mean, oh, who knows? Yeah. Like, we don't get to see everything, but like being able to snippets we saw, like it's whatever that's going on there is super cool. The way they were interacting that's right. with each other. And I'm seeing that with all the athletes. They're willing each other to do their very best. And it really shows the best of human of humanity, I think, watching the Olympics. It's been great. That's cool. Okay, back to the rapid fire. Okay. Um, best Dallas restaurant? Oh, I am such a foodie. Do you want to go first? Yeah. I mean, first of all, like, go. I mean, there's so many. Like, there's so many good Dallas restaurants. But, like, for family, we love to go to Ferian's mm -hmm. at uh, yeah. the Ritz Carlton. And also, like, uh, Paul is somebody there. Like, if you, he'll find you like a forty dollar bottle of wine that you'll think, you know, you could have spent way more on. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I would, and it's like, and yeah. it's a fancy hotel. Like, I was like, where are we going there? But I was like, it is a great place for family things. It's a really cool. And I love the Mercury. Mercury's fine. Oh, yeah. It's a good spot. I love the Mercury. It's a good spot. Yeah. Yeah. We should okay. open City Cafe back up too. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yes, that. but yeah. That's that was so good. City Cafe to go might be one of my favorites. Yeah. yeah. It's really good. Um, what is you all's favorite weekend activity in Dallas? Oh, I love to ride my bike. If I have time just to ride my bike around my neighborhood, that's a good day for me. Oh, but nice. weekend activities outside of that, I love catching movies. And that's always fun for us to, to go and sit down and relax and watch a movie. Hanging out at Clyde Warren Park is so fun to be outside. And so those are weekend activities that I enjoy. Going to the Perot, yes. So I've found that I'm kind of more of an indoor cat on the weekends. So like I, I like enjoying the air conditioning I have and watching shows. And like, that sounds nice I just too. want to chill out. So you yeah. keep all your shows and watch them on the weekend? No, like I've, I, now we've got the whole sort of thing. You can just watch whatever you want, whenever you oh, want. Yeah. yeah, like it's just like whatever's on, you can watch. And so like I, it's, it, as a psychologist, I probably should have a better answer. But like I, I feel the TV in moderation is fine. I think TV in moderation is more than fine. But every now and then, ride that bike. 
<laughs> it's all about the balance. It's hard in August. Yeah, true. <laughs> I know, it's true. <laughs>